In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate Gutenberg for your custom post type. So if you have a custom post type in your WordPress website, you've activated Gutenberg and Gutenberg editor isn't showing up, but the classic editor is. I'm going to show you how to turn on Gutenberg for that custom post type. Now, we are going to have to make a change to the code for that custom post type. So if this is a plugin that has um, created a custom post type, I don't recommend changing that plugin. You might want to make a request to whoever wrote the plugin to say, hey, can you add this in there? If it's a plugin that doesn't get updated, so if you had a friend write a plugin and you put it on your site and it doesn't update to the WordPress repository, then you can go in and make that change without worrying about it. If you make a change to that plugin and it updates, it's liable to remove that those changes that you've made. But if they do an update, they may be adding in the ability to work with Gutenberg. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make that. It's a very, very small change to make Gutenberg work with your custom post type. All right, so let's get started. So here on the ideapro.tv site, we've created a custom post type. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link it to the link it in the description and to the card up here over here, up here on the top. And so if we look here, we have examples. And examples is a custom post type that we created in that video. So if we add a new example, we'll see that it gives us just the old classic editor. But we have Gutenberg activated on this site. So we're gonna come back here and it doesn't give us a little drop down to add a Gutenberg type. It just gives us the add new example with the old editor. So we're gonna to go to our code. So this is our custom post type plugin that we made in that, in that previous video. And we have the idea pro custom post type function here that registers that example post type. Now to make Gutenberg show up for that custom post type, there's two things that your custom post type needs. One is it needs to support the editor. So if we take out support for the editor here, it will remove the editor from the, um, from the edit page here. So it needs to support the editor. And the next thing that it needs is we're going to create another line here and we're going to say show underscore in underscore rest and that's going to equal true now what that is is that is the rest api and i'm not going to get into detail about how that works and what it is and all this stuff in this video if i need to i'll create another video for that i wanted to make this video short just to show people really quick how to turn on gutenberg for their custom post type all right so we're going to save that and am I connected to I am there we go so now if we go to examples now we have a little drop down here so if we click the little drop down it says Gutenberg or classic editor by default go away there we go by default if we just hit add new example it's going to put us into the Gutenberg editor so we hit add new example and now we're editing in the new Gutenberg editor with this custom post type. Now you need to do that for every custom post type that you have on your site if you want Gutenberg to work with that custom post type. Whenever 5.0 WordPress comes out, Gutenberg is going to be in the core of that WordPress update. I'm not, they're not going to remove the classic editor right away in 5.0. So I'm not sure how long that you'll be able to use the classic editor without um, enabling that, without eventually enabling that custom, that classic editor plugin. All right, hope this video helped. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.